On November 16th, Bellator touches down in Kingston, Rhode Island for the semifinals of their lightweight tournament. In the first of the two scheduled tournament matchups, Ultimate Fighter Season 4 alumni Rich Clementi takes on 20-year-old submission specialist Marcin Held. In the quarterfinals, No Love met undefeated Russian fighter Alexander Sarnovsky. And although Clementi was battered by the striking specialist, he did manage to find a way to walk away with the victory. With more than 60 professional fights under his belt, the 36-year-old will definitely have the experience advantage and could draw on that aspect to deal with his young rival. However, Held's biggest strength is also that of the Louisiana native Clementi, ending the night of a staggering 27 opponents by submission. And it might be too tall a task for the young Polish combatant to deal with the grappling prowess of his adversary. Fans could expect the battle-tested American to keep this fight upright and avoid the 20-year-old's most dangerous area. Instead, attempt to put him away standing before moving into the final. Either way, it is a battle of the new versus the old, and fans are certain to be interested in the outcome of this intriguing encounter between two skilled athletes at two very different stages of their respective careers. In the last lightweight semi-final bout, WEC veteran Dave Jansen locks horns with Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt Ricardo Tarloni in a matchup that all but promises exciting action. In 20 fights as a professional, the 33-year-old Sports Lab team member has never been finished and has amassed an impressive 18-2 record, with 11 of those victories coming by way of tap-out. It is the submission game that could be on full display, as his rival that night excels in the grappling department and is certain to test out his skills on the mat. Tirloni, a teammate of UFC veteran Tiago Tavares, has looked solid over his 17-fight career, only losing two bouts, one to Zahabi MMA powerhouse and Bellator standout Rick Hahn, and the other to UFC lightweight King Benson Henderson. So dealing with quality opposition will not phase the 29-year-old. If the hardened Brazilian can get the fight to the ground, he could have the upper hand, as he has submitted submission fighters in the past, including Brian Cobb and Rene Nazare finishing the world Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu champion by Darce Choke in his last outing. Also on the card, former Sengoku featherweight titleist Marlon Sandro will try and rebound from his unanimous decision loss against 145-pound tournament champion Daniel Strauss when he meets seasoned Ultimate Fighter participant Dustin Nice, who is in serious need of a big victory. The Beast has been competing in mixed martial arts since 2005 and along the way has faced top talent, which includes Jeff Curran and former WEC champion Mike Brown, so fans can expect him to be prepared for the firepower of the Andre Pedaneras trained Sandro. If Nice can hold the Brazilian on the mat and control from the top, he might be able to set up the 19th submission triumph of his career. Sandro has only been finished once in 26 fights as a pro and is certain to bring it to the man almost 10 years his junior with a furious pace and a calculated attack. Sandro should showcase his speed and precision and try to avoid the ground in hopes of garnering the KO victory.